you. Welcome, welcome. Sit wherever you want. Which one? The couch, the chair, the chair, the couch, the couch, the chair? You want a chair? We we'll arrange, rearrange a little bit. Here you go. <laughs> How's it going, Dortmund? <laughs> they got your name right, that's good. <laughs> Everybody well? Yeah. Everybody have fun today? Well, first of all, welcome, welcome, welcome to the German Comic Con, our spring edition. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. <laughs> it's an it's honor. An honor and a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I guess we have so many people who wanted to ask you questions. I'm going to just start up with one. How are you enjoying Germany so far? Uh, in, the, in the 12 hours I've been here so far, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm having a swell time. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. That's a great answer. Thank you very much. And I think we're just going to continue with our audience questions, guys. Uh, state your name and be nice and uh, go ahead, fire up. Hi Charlie, my name is Divo and first of all I want to say that you are a huge inspiration for all of us. That's amazing, thank you, thank you, it's so nice. A, a few years ago I was the kind of Alan Harper, <laughs> but because of you I stand here today I have, and I have the mentality of the one and only legend, Charlie Sheen. And I have one question. I told you that you changed my life. What changed your life? Good question. I know I changed your life. Well, you know, um, what was your name again? <laughs> Stevo. 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 Um, it's 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 hard to 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 narrow it down or 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 to to isolate one moment that 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 might have changed my life. Um, uh, I think it's I I I think it's an ongoing process. Um, I mean, there's certain certain career moments that that changed my life. Uh, the film Platoon uh, changed a lot. Um, anyone? Platoon? Nothing. Awesome. Um, that was a that was a turning point. Um, uh, Two and a Half Men was obviously a turning point uh, uh, for, for for better and and for worse. Um, and, and obviously, you know, I have, I have five children and, and three grandkids. And so that's, that's certainly changed my life. Um, and about a year and a half ago, uh, I quit drinking. And that, and that is, <laughs> that's, thank you. Thank you. Charlie, we are winning. That, that, that has radically changed my life. <laughs> So, thank you, that was a good question. Woo! Thank you so much, Steve-O! Next question, please. Hi, I'm Nils from UCI, and I want to ask, uh, we all saw Hot Shots 1 and Part 2, and uh, we're all waiting for Part 3. Will you make it happen? I mean, would you all really want to see Hot Shots 3? Of course, yes! But but when we when we made those films, um, that that genre hadn't been so exhausted, so saturated. Um, do you do you really think that there there be an audience for it, or would it look like we were either clinging to the past, or or just adding to what there's already too much of? I would go to the cinema to see it. You would go to the cinema. <laughs> I would do it. Okay. We will all go. What what? What would we base it on? Because those films are specific takeoffs on other popular films. What would you recommend we base Hot Shots 3 on? 
I think that uh, Stallone made his remake of his remake, and then the the I think the fifth part. So you can do the same. You can. So you want us to do Hot Shots three as Rambo six? <laughs> yes, like that. You're awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi Charlie, All my right. name is Mike, and I'd like to know if you still identify yourself with your role um, of Charlie Harper. How you what? Sorry, can you repeat? Identify yourself with the role of Charlie Harper. Did I did I identify myself with the role of Charlie Harper? Um, yeah, yeah. There were certain themes, certain flavors, certain attitudes that uh, that I could I could relate to. I think um, I think the character was 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 designed and and, and written towards um, either you know truths or rumors or or, or something in in between of, of how people perceive me. Um, but I think they did it very tastefully. I think if they had really written about some of the shit I've done, um, it would not have been on network television. <laughs> So, but you know, anytime you get a chance to, to play something that's, that, that's, that's close to your, to your preferences, to your sensibilities, to, to your passion, then I think, uh, I, 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 I think you have a better shot of, of, of creating a character that, that people can really relate to, you know. Welcome to Germany. <laughs> Thank you. Honored to be here. Thank you. Next question, please. If you could choose to play any sort of role and not be, say, typecast in anything, say a superhero, a villain, anything like that, who would you kind of want to play? You mean what would my, my, my dream role be? Yes. Batman. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, Batman? Batman. <laughs> no, I think the Batman ship has sailed. Um, <laughs> I would say I'd want to I'd, I'd want to be president, but that's not really something to uh, strive for anymore. <laughs> um, that thing's a mess, isn't it? <laughs> Yikes! Um, I don't know. I mean, what what uh, what kind of role would you like to see me in? What do you think I would I would I would thrive and excel in? I'd kind of like to see something marvelous. What? Marvel. Like something Marvel. Avengers kind of, ooh, kind of Deadpool maybe. That would be amazing. <laughs> that would be amazing. Imagine that Deadpool family, like a Deadpool an uncle or something. Like the older brother, yeah. Yeah. Deader pool. <laughs> Thing to consider. It's a thing to consider. We can push that. Thank you no, so if much. I, if I got the call from Marvel about any type of participation, trust me, I would be there front and center, bright and early. Definitely. Okay, guys, can you post that on Twitter and everywhere? Thank you. <laughs> Next, please. Um, hey. I'm sorry, I'm super nervous. That's all right. So am I. <laughs> Um, I wanted to ask if you have a favorite scene in like Two and a Half Men, and if you have one, please tell us. Well, it, uh, it'd be hard to narrow it down to just one scene. Um, <laughs> there's an episode that I quite fancy. Um, I think it was, uh, it might have been season one, and it, it it spoke to the, um, I think the reason that, that, that the show really worked, when it, when it did really work, is uh, uh, that, that the show really stayed in its own world, like in a very contained environment, which was basically that house and that, that, uh, that you know, back porch. Um, and there's an episode where we decide that we're going to go to Vegas. 
that it's a great idea to take the kid to Vegas and, you know, because it's raining or whatever, something's going on. And any other show, any other sitcom at that time would have actually gone to Vegas with that cheesy three slot machine set that you've seen everywhere. In, in, in our situation, we couldn't even get there. We couldn't even get there. And it was really about, I think that's, that's what was the, the, the innocence, the, the, the comedy, the conflict in that show is we couldn't even get out of the house. And then the kid pukes uh, in the umbrella stand and the episode is called Smell the Umbrella Stand. <laughs> so, and there was a Thanksgiving episode early on that, that I thought we did a good job with. But to find one scene, um, it, it's, you know, you do, you do 12 or 15 scenes per show, you times that by 180, it's, it's really hard to pick just, just one out, you know. Thank you. Next, please. Hello, I'm Joel, and um, do you like Harry Potter? <laughs> Um, I, I never read the books, and I've only seen one of the movies, I think it was the first one, um, but, but, but what I did see, I was quite taken with, and, and I thought it was fabulous. Is that, is that your favorite, is that your favorite movie, is that your favorite? Yes. Your favorite character, yeah? Didn't, didn't he wind up naked on Broadway? I'm sorry. Oh, that's a child. Oh, my God. My bad. No, but... Sorry. But, uh... Because of your curiosity about it, now I will, I will, I will, uh, further investigate the, uh, the, the, the Harry... Potter world. <laughs> so thank you for that. Thank you. Can I get another question, please? And we have time for three more, so. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Yes. Hey Charlie, I'm Marcel. First of all, thanks for coming here to Germany. You've always been an inspiration to me and an idol and I loved everything you ever did, every film, every series. And before I come to my question, I want to say, next time you're doing a live tour like um, Violent to Pain of True, think about Germany and come here because we love you here. Thank you. And now to my question. If you would get the offer to do one more season, Two and a Half Men, or one more season, Anger Management, which one would you choose and why? Good question. Good question. Yeah, I, 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 I think hands down it would have to be have to be Two and a Half Men. I think hands down. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, it's. Uh, there's a there's a trend right now to to reboot shows that that ended for whatever reason you know um, some more subtly than others and uh, no for me it would it, it would be important to do it not just for myself but for for, for the fans and 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 to really um, put a put a bookend on that. On, on that whole saga, on that whole odyssey, and 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 end it how it how it should have, you know, because I I I get so many people in the streets coming up to me and talking about, you know, they stopped watching after I left, 
and I remind them I didn't leave, I was fired. Um, and, uh, which was all my fault. I mean, that was such nonsense. I don't really know entirely what happened, and I can't change it, but, but, you know, I can, I can continue on a path today that, that, based on the choices I'm making, that, that could lead to the show finding its way uh, back on the air and, and, and to, the, uh, to, to some kind of a conclusion that, that it deserves, that I deserve, that the fans deserve. Amazing, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next question, please. Hi, Charlie. Hello. I'm, I'm Alex. And my question is connected to his one. It's, do you miss being a part of Two and a Half Men? Because I think most of us miss you as Charlie Harper. You're very kind, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, again, if I, if, I, if I had to do it all over again, I would have uh, left my personal nonsense at home and just focused on the job at hand, which is what you give them <laughs> your word that you're going to do. Um, so, I, I, I miss it now. I was a little burned out with it then, but, you know, hindsight, we always, See things so much differently, but I think I think going back to it, there would be such a uh, such a repaired and 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 you know focused and 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 excited and creative version of me that uh, that I I I think it would eclipse even the stuff that that we'd already done. That's the confidence I would have in it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. You are an amazing actor and an amazing person. Thank you. And we have time for um, two last questions. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. Hello, Mr. Sheen. I'm Rose. Uh, nice to meet you. And I have. Nice to meet you. Thank you. I have two little questions. The first is. Uh, do you imagine to come back on TV screen or cinema? Or have something, projects in this way? Do I have a plan to, to, to return to television or, or the yes. cinema? I do, absolutely. Yes? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Right. yes. We miss you on TV or screen. Thank you, thank you. I miss being there. <laughs> And the last question is, you are in Germany and in Dortmund. Have you enjoyed your first Döner? I have not had a German kebab. No? No. When you want, I invite you to the first Döner in Dortmund. <laughs> okay. Do, do you own a restaurant? No, but my friends have, and it's the best donor in town. Well, far out. That sounds terrific. I guess uh, I'll see you all there. You're paying. You. <laughs> all right, and that's the time for last questions, and unfortunately, we'll have to go. Hello, Mr. Sheen. Uh, Hello. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Um, what do you think? Charlie Harper versus Walden Schmidt only fist bumping. Who would win? One more time? Uh, who would win a uh, fight? Charlie Harper or um, Walden Schmidt? Walden Schmidt? Who, who wins on the house? I can only see here Charlie Harper and the other one? Walden Schmidt, the. Oh, he was the. Yeah, he was. That's, the, he was... that's the character name. Ah. He stole your house. <laughs> oh, oh, is it really? Oh, hands down, I'd beat his ass. Yes! That's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> Guys, um, that's the whole time that we have. A round of applause. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. You people are wonderful. Thank you. I'm honored. Thank you.